Welcome back to another day on the ranch. Today, we're doing something a little bit different. It is Saturday. I woke up, went and milked Desi. Rev came out and was just hanging out with me before his sisters woke up. And so we got to talking about what? How much milk is per gallon? How much, yep, how much we sell milk for, you know, about operating costs and revenue and profit and the business of selling milk for us. And so really figured, hey, why not sit down, record this? Because uh, basically this is, this is what homeschool is like for the children, um, where they'll ask questions and we'll just kind of dive in and, and answer that to the best of our ability and then obviously pull in some additional resources if we need to. And figured this would be great content. I mean, for you guys to see what it's like for them learning, especially about business, and then also get a little bit of insight into kind of what we're working with um, on the on the business. In, in our milk room over here, we've got a chart that shows everybody that, that is coming to buy milk, what time of the day, what day of the week, how much they're getting, all of that. And Rev was looking at that this morning. How many, what was the total that you saw there? 18. 18. Okay, so we've got 18 gallons of milk, and that is, I think, currently about 10 customers. So we've got 10 customers currently. I can go count how many customers. Okay, you can go do that. And we do currently have a wait list. So we've got people that are waiting to be able to get milk, but we are not at a point that we feel comfortable expanding our... Over. It's nine. Oh, there's nine customers? Okay. Um, we're not yet ready to start selling to more customers just because you know understanding how much milk we're bringing in how much we consume how much our parents consume and what we give to the animals and all that so and then we do on occasion have people come in and like hey can we get an extra gallon here or, or there or what have you so currently we're doing 18 gallons a week um at about at, not at about, but at six dollars a gallon. Okay, so six times ten is sixty, uh, and six times eight is That's forty-eight. Why I was okay, Maybe. so sixty plus forty-eight is one hundred and eight. So currently, we are are making revenue-wise, we're bringing in about one hundred. Not about. We are bringing in one hundred and eight dollars a week. Uh, via selling raw milk. Sure, we're bring, we're bringing in $108 a week. What else do we need to consider? How much did I tell you we spend on feed per week for SE? $50. $50 a week. So we've got $50 a week just in feed for SE alone. I mean, we've got feed for a whole bunch of the, the other animals, but that's not really not coming into chicken. these calculations. So $50 a week in feed. Okay, so if that if we're making $108 a week and we subtract 50, what is that? That was 58. 58. So that means right off the bat, our profit is $58 a week. That's not considering what? We, we also need to factor in other operating costs such as the water that we use to not only clean the jars when we run the dishwasher, but clean the milk machine, and all that, so. And then electricity to run the milk. Yep, per milking, I use about uh, 12 gallons per milking to clean the machine itself. So that doesn't include washing any any bottles or anything like that, so 12 gallons, uh, so twice a day, that'd be 24 gallons a day. Water is pretty, pretty cheap. Uh, we are on city water. We do have a well on the property up by Tim and Tammy's house that at some point, my intention is to actually pipe that down to our house and basically just do away with the city water um, and only pull from the well, but we don't have that currently, so. And that'd be gross drinking well water. No, that well water is delicious. It's crystal clear, okay, yeah, it's fucking yeah, amazing. I steal my water from the well. Yeah, that water is like some of the best water I've ever had. Um, and it's so cold too. It's like a nice 50 degrees because it's coming from, you know, underground. I like cold, I like cold water. You like cold water? Mm -hmm. Yes, you do. 24 gallons a day uh, for milk, cleaning the milk machine is what? Like probably cents. Um, let's say 10 cents. Okay, 10 cents a day. That's just for cleaning the milk machine. We also need to consider how much water does Essie drink Oh man, this is getting way further in depth than I was in intending. 
58 minus three dollars for water minus five dollars for electricity that puts us at fifty dollars a week in so-called profit profits from uh the milk now we need to keep in mind that does not include my labor that does not include the time that i spend milking which all in is about an hour a day so about a half hour in the morning half hour in the evening um that doesn't include the pasture maintenance and making sure that the cows are getting moved on a regular basis actually a daily basis to ensure that they've got good good pasture um coming into the winter we are going to have to supplement with hay so of course we're going to have some hay costs coming against that but that hay is going to be getting fed to all the all of the cows um not and just probably hay. the goats too uh yeah potentially and maybe the chickens the chickens like to scratch through it they'll be okay they've got feed they got plenty of stuff to scratch, scratch through out there um, they're gonna have fun scratching through the snow actually remember last year they were scared they didn't even walk foot out of that coop when it was snowing I know, they did not step foot. They stayed in there where it was warm. Okay. It was a good thing. And I was scared that it was snowing. It was snowing. And we go down the hill. No, it wasn't snowing. It, there was just still snow on the ground. <laughs> Again, at the surface, we broke this down to $50 a week of profit just basically cutting out the operating costs, the weekly operating costs for milking. How much is it for electricity to run the milk machine, just to run the milk machine? I don't know. I don't know how much electricity it actually consumes, and I don't even know how much we pay for electricity. $10 a week. I mean, I know how much we pay monthly for electricity, but I don't know really? what that correlates to how much is for it actually for running water? the milk machine. Water. $108 a week in revenue minus weekly operating costs brings us down to $50 uh, of quote unquote profit. At minimum, an hour and 15 minutes a day taking care of you know milking and then moving the cows and all of that. So an hour and 15 minutes a day, that comes out to, what would that be? Just shy of nine hours a week. So if we do 50 divided by nine, just over $5, an hour, essentially, mm -hmm. in terms of my labor, if we were taking that into consideration. Now, one of the other things that this doesn't also consider is the fact that, um, you know, we've got startup expenses. We've got, um, you know, investment in everything that we have before we even started making any of this money. So, oh, how much was it to get Essie? So we paid two thousand dollars for Essie. For Essie. Oh, yeah. oh. I think like eighteen hundred for the milk machine, so right there we're just shy of four thousand dollars, and then we've got all of the the jars that we have. We've got um, the fridge for the milk, kiddo. What? You can't keep bump, bumping the table. Hey, please stop. Okay. We do have a lot of jars at this point, more than I mean enough to last us if. If jars break or as S or Sadie starts coming into milk, uh, we'll obviously be using more. So we're good on the jar front, which I, I'm just very thankful for because I'm glad we don't have to go through what we went through earlier this year when we needed them. I'd say we're probably about $5,000 in on quote unquote startup expenses. Um, like I said, for Essie, the milk machine, and if we didn't have that milk machine, my labor time would go up probably 3x of what it is right now. How, um, how long would it take if you handle it? Probably about an a hour? A long time. About an hour and yeah. a half? At least an hour probably. Uh, Holy cow, you might need me to help. Yeah. You can do her back cords and I'll do the front ones. Oh, okay. But I can't even, I can't even do it at the end and help you, so I'd have to learn how to do it. Yeah. <laughs> At most, currently $50 a week um, of, again, quote unquote profit. And I say quote unquote because there is so much behind the scenes that isn't being accounted for, such as my labor. Um, if I was truly being paid for labor, you know, that price would go up substantially more. But, you know, that's part of just owning a business and you, your labor is, you know, 
is whatever the profit is. And so yeah, this is this is one thing that, as I believe we've mentioned in previous videos, we could charge more for milk. We could charge, you know, there's people uh, somewhat around our area that are charging $8 a gallon. Some areas in the country, people are charging $10, $12 per gallon for raw milk. Um, what in the world? Yeah, it's crazy, which we could do, and we could increase our profit margin by doing so. However, again, as we've previously mentioned, you know, our goal isn't just to make a bunch of profit and, and be able to do whatever. Yes, we'd like to at least have enough of a profit margin that we can continue to grow and we can continue to uh, build up additional infrastructure on the farm or on the ranch, uh, build up you know our herd and all of that and potentially obtain additional property over the years. But you know that's kind of our, our long-term goals. But we're not like, hey, let's just do this as, as quick as we can and let's charge as much as we can for this, knowing that we could. Um, but really it's a matter of, you know, our target audience is people that understand the value of raw milk, but either don't want to or can't pay, you know, $8 a gallon, $10 a gallon. I mean, when you start getting into that, it's kind of insane. And if we didn't have our milk cow, I wouldn't drink nearly as much milk, but just me, I myself. I would never drink milk again if we got rid of Essie. Yeah, well, I would never drink anything but raw milk. Um, I currently drink about a half gallon of milk uh, a day. Yeah, and oh, so, just you? Just me, yeah. So, but and that's also. But counting the kids that drink some, you we drink about a gallon. Right. Okay. Yeah. And so that's one other thing that isn't really being accounted for in these, these calculations is, like I said, we're selling 18 gallons a week um, currently, and we're producing, or Essie's producing about six gallons a day. So 42 gallons a week minus 18, that leaves us with what, 24? 24 gallons a week. 24, is that right? Yeah. So 24 gallons a week that is either for our consumption or my parents or or Ariana's parents, Tim and Tammy. And then of course we also do uh, feed it to a lot of the animals. So there is that added benefit of, okay, now we're not necessarily spending as much cost in feed for the animals. We are we ourselves are not buying milk from the store and all of these other factors. So although, you know, going through those numbers looks like $50 a week, that's not very much um, considering everything else, but we do have okay, the value that we're getting, $6, or what I say, um, 24 gallons a week times $6 would be, what, 144? So $144 a week of kind of value that we get for ourselves uh, on top of that $50 a week that we're bringing in as actual financial profits. And so there's so many things kind of uh, that play into this and whether it's actually beneficial or not. And, Wholeheartedly, I believe you know this is this is what we are here to do. Uh, I believe God has placed this on our hearts and um, has allowed us to have the resources to be able to do what we're doing. Um, and really, our goal is to you know just continue kind of building upon that. And so, I was doing some calculations the other day, and once S or once Sadie births. And when Sadie calves later this be month, in a few weeks. Yep, yeah, a few weeks she, here. It, she could do it early, as early as this Monday. She could. That's what mommy told me. She could. She could. That's pretty crazy. So once See? Sadie calves, um, I expect that we'll be getting at least six gallons a day from her, uh, which means that doubles our our intake uh, of to be 12 gallons a day. My hope is that we'll be able to. Uh, basically expand our customer base, which like I said at the beginning, we've already got customers that are, are waiting to be able to get milk from us. We don't feel comfortable supplying yet just because we wanna make sure we have enough for what we're doing uh, around here. My hope and expectation is that we'll get up to about $50, or not $50, about 50 gallons a week in customer sales. If and when we get to that point, that's gonna help start alleviating some of the other um, feed costs that we have for the other animals and allow us to actually 
have some additional money there that we can start actually putting towards uh, the ranch and infrastructure and other things, potential new animals, things like that. So I don't know if this was uh, interesting, helpful. Rev, what do you think? Did you learn some things? Uh, I have to show a sign when I'm done. Oh, you have to show I them mean something? Okay, okay. I don't know how common it is for people to like really understand business and profit and loss and I just kind of learned from a like, young age due to my dad had some businesses and Ariane and I basically as we started YouTube started uh, having income from that and starting to get into okay business and you've got all these other expenses and whatnot so uh, I don't know hopefully this was helpful interesting to see by no means like oh yeah we're making all, all kinds of money on this but we do have physical, tangible benefits outside of the financial aspect of having um, some dairy cows. So yeah, we are- Did you include in that how much we typically would spend on milk? I didn't. And I, I walked through that kind of at the end. What we could do at a later date <laughs> is another video that really breaks down the, not just like from the business side of selling milk, but of having our own milk cow and the money that it saves us from what we would otherwise buy at the store mm -hmm. you know we could do that sort of breakdown if that'd be neat or helpful that's one thing like i said i didn't i didn't put really any forethought into this video beyond just oh hey rev you know we were talking about business profit uh oh, just got oh my me. goodness one thousand dollars for oh two thousand dollars for cow. That's, that's a huge one. Did you include in that the PMA? No. Feet for each family. No, I I didn't get into anything beyond just simply six dollars oh. oh. per gallon for milk. <laughs> so yeah, there no, there's definitely we could go much more in depth with a little bit more thought out um, kind of outline for a video in future videos, but. Like I said, this was just kind of, oh, hey, I have this idea. I was talking to Rev about it. Rev, do you want to sit down and record this video with me? Hopefully this was maybe not helpful, but insightful. Gives you something to think about. Potentially you are looking at starting your, your own business and the thinking through all these different uh, contributing factors in terms of costs and profitability and all this stuff that comes into play. So um, with that, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that thumbs up and we will see you guys in the next one. Oh,